Hey, this is Keeping It Real with your host, Justin Villarreal. And by the time you're seeing this, it's going to be Monday, the day before the NHL playoffs start. Right now, it's like 1230 midnight in Chicago, where I live. But I'm here making a video because we now know the teams making the playoffs. And so I wrote down... 10 Stanley Cup final matchups that would be interesting that would be interesting storylines and so I decided to make a video on it and share this 10 team like 10 matchup list with you and we're gonna get things started with the matchup I want to see the most and that is the Chicago Blackhawks going up against the Montreal Canadiens, the 212 seats, and this would mean absolute chaos. But I think a Montreal Canadiens Chicago Blackhawks matchup would be fitting for the year 2020. And for anyone that doesn't know, I actually am a Chicago Blackhawks fan. And so you're going to be seeing the Hawks a lot in this video, but that's okay. Because the Hawks are awesome. I mean, who doesn't love the Chicago Blackhawks? Number two on the list is the Washington Capitals and the St. Louis Blues. And these are the two past champions. Washington won in 2018. St. Louis, the defending champions, won in 2019. And so it'd be interesting. The two champions clashing head-to-head. -head. And number three on the list very similarly, the Las Vegas Golden Knights going up against the Boston Bruins. This, These two teams are the runners up. So Vegas lost in their first year in the league and then Boston lost last year. And so now two teams that recently lost a Stanley Cup would get a chance to win a Stanley Cup. Number four on the list is the Chicago Blackhawks. Keyword there is Chicago and the New York Islanders, keyword there is New York. Now, why did I say New York and Chicago? Well, they are two of the largest cities in the United States. And so a Chicago-New York matchup, it'd be great for the NHL because everyone, like I know living here in Chicago, we've had three championships. It takes the city by storm when the Blackhawks are doing well. And I would assume the same is true for New York. And so I think that this would be a very good matchup viewership-wise for the NHL. Number five, like, is a very poetic, very metaphoric way to end the decade. The 2010s are over. It's now the 2020s. And what did we get to start the 2010s in the NHL? We got a Chicago Blackhawks. Philadelphia Flyers Stanley Cup matchup. I remember being in third grade watching this matchup. Like my earliest memories watching hockey was watching this series. And that started off the decade. And what better way to end the decade than with what we got at the start, at the finish, the Chicago Blackhawks Philadelphia Flyers. It'd be very, very poetic. Number six is the St. Louis Blues. Boston Bruins, they played each other in the, in the Stanley Cup last year. And so if they played again this year, it'd be kind of building up a little bit of a rivalry between these two teams. And I think it'd be interesting to watch. And as an NHL fan, it'd be interesting like, oh, two teams are always meeting up. It's a rivalry, kind of like what we had with the Cavs and Warriors in the NBA for a little bit. Number seven on my list, and this is just... The Stanley Cup rematches. These are all the Stanley Cup rematches that I'm going to be naming off. Washington, Vegas. We had it in 2018. And the reason why rematches are so interesting is it adds to the story. Like, you know, you look at the Chicago Bulls, Utah Jazz. There's history there because they played each other multiple times in a championship. And so that's why I had all these rematches on the list. So yeah, Washington, Vegas. Can Vegas get their revenge? Or will Alex Ovechkin lift up his second Stanley Cup? That'd be an interesting storyline. Bruins and Canucks. Again, can the Canucks get revenge? Or will the Boston Bruins win another Stanley Cup? And I do want to mention 
these are not predictions. I'm not saying these teams will make the Stanley Cup because Boston's been playing terrible. I'm just saying if, like, these would be interesting matchups. And so, yeah, Boston and Vancouver, that'd be interesting. And finishing off the list, we're going to have the Blackhawks here twice. My team, Chicago, here twice. The V, Chicago Blackhawks, going against the Tampa Bay Lightning. This was the matchup in 2015. This is what ended it all for the dynasty. Or maybe it's not the end because if the Blackhawks win a fourth Stanley Cup in five years, or in 10 years, in 10 years, be, they won their last championship five years ago, but they won their first 10 years ago. And so the dynasty wouldn't be over if we won this year, but it would be over if we didn't win. And so, yeah, when the dynasty, when everyone thought the dynasty ended was when we beat the Lightning and so, that'd be an interesting rematch. And last but not least, the Boston Bruins going against the Chicago Blackhawks. This was the 2013 final. And I remember people were saying, oh, the Blackhawks. Or like, I, I heard people say this. I heard people say the Bruins were going to beat the Blackhawks. We obviously know the team right here, the Chicago Blackhawks, came up clutch and won the Stanley Cup in 2013. And so, with that being said, that is my list of 10 interesting Stanley Cup matchups that we could get. And also, the reason why I'm dressed up is why not? I mean, like, I was just like, you know, why not dress up nicely? It's a time to celebrate. We got sports back. And so, with that being said, I will see you all in the next video.